Hi, welcome to part two. So from standing here, feet about hip width apart, we're going to come into a forward fold. So if you take a breath in, and then as you breathe out, bend your knees and bring your hands down the legs, coming into a forward fold. So you can keep your knees bent or have a little bend in the knees, just depending on how your back is today. And then just let the weight of your body cascade down over the legs. And now take your right hand to the outside of the left leg, outside of the shin or the ankle or the foot, and bend your right knee a little bit more and then reach up with the left arm. Stay with your breath. Inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you twist a little bit deeper. Good, and then bring the left hand over towards the right leg. Bring that left hand to the outside of the right leg and reach up with the right arm. And then exhale it down. And now we're going to bring the hands flat down onto the ground and then walk the feet back and come onto the knees and sit back onto the heels. If you take the end of your mat now and roll it in or you could put the blanket there if your knees are a little bit tender and we're going to come up onto the knees, tuck the toes under I'm going to demonstrate this way so that you can see more clearly. So toes are tucked under, knees are under the hips and bring the hands to the backs of the thighs. Inhale as you lengthen upwards and then exhale, keep your body in a straight line and rock back. Inhaling forwards, exhaling back. Inhale forwards, exhale back. So you'll notice that your quads, your glutes and your abs all switch on. Good, and then bring your hands onto your lower back. So if you've got any lower back issues, just go really cautiously with that. We're going to inhale and lengthen upwards, and then exhale and just gently press the hands into the lower back. Keep looking forwards, engaging the glutes, and then start to draw the elbows and the shoulder blades in towards each other. Good, and then come up again. Sit back down onto your heels. I'm just going to demonstrate the next part of the pose so that you know how to exit the pose. So if you've got lower back issues, stay with that previous version. Otherwise, you can tuck the toes under and then walk your hands back until you find your heels. You're using that kind of rocking action that we practiced, finding the heels and then bringing the hips and the pubic bone forward and lifting the heart. And then finally, you can let the head go if that feels comfortable. And then when you're ready, use that rocking action and rock back up and sit down onto the heels. So just go really easily with that. Um, don't go all the way back into it if it doesn't feel good. And when you come up, remember that rocking action so you come up centrally. So we'll just do that all together again. Tuck the toes. Either you're just bringing your hands onto your lower back and this is where your back bend is. And you're just lifting the heart and engaging the glutes, drawing the hips forward and looking forward. Or you're taking your hands all the way down the backs of the legs till you find the heels and then bringing the hips forward, lifting the heart and then finally letting the head go. Good, and then when you're ready to come up, you're gonna rock up centrally, sit down onto the heels, undo your mat and then come into a child's pose. So you could take your knees wide, bring the big toes together and then walk the hands forward and fold in, really lengthening through your spine, and bringing your awareness to your breath, feeling the breath in the back body. And then if you like, just walking your hands over to the right, maybe giving your right knee a kiss. Walking your hands back through to center, over to the left, kissing your left knee. Coming back through to center, and then let's spread the fingers nice and wide, come up onto the knees, tuck the toes, lift up the hips, and come into a down dog pose. Have a little play around here. You might like to bend one leg, straighten the other, bring a bit of movement into the, shoulder, the shoulders and the head. And then raise up the right leg, turn the toes out, drop the right heel towards the left buttock. Keep lifting the knee. Swing your right knee forward, right knee to right wrist, and slide the left leg back. If you find there's a big gap under your right buttock, you could get your cushion, 
and wedge it underneath your bum and your thigh so that your pelvis is level like that and then come up onto your fingertips and lift the heart and then walk the hands forward coming onto your elbows forearms or reaching the arms all the way forward and resting the forehead down if this is not comfortable for any reason just come into child's pose okay so never push into a to anything that doesn't feel good in your body especially if you're working with injuries so here we are in pigeon pose sense of release and letting go find your breath breathe into the back body and then bring the hands under the shoulders inhaling to come up And then moving anything from under your right buttock, any props, dropping down onto your right buttock and swinging your left leg forward and bringing the sole of the right foot to your left inner thigh. Now just turning so that you're facing out over the left leg and reaching the arms up and then reaching your heart forward. So either you can bring your hands onto your shin or your ankle or your foot. If you can't reach your foot, you can use a scarf or a strap Inhale as you lengthen, exhale, fold in. And just have a sense of release and surrendering into this forward fold. Good, and then inhale the arms up. Let's lift up the right knee. And then take that right leg over the left leg, press down into the sole of your right foot, wrap your left arm around your right knee, and then take the right hand behind you. Inhale to lengthen upwards, exhale as you turn over to the right. So either your face is in line with your sternum bone, or you're turning to look out over the shoulder. Both sit bones are grounding evenly to the earth. Come back through to centre. And then just lift up your legs, cross your legs, bring your hands down onto the ground, come onto your knees, tuck your toes, lift up your hips, spreading the fingers nice and wide, coming back into the down dog pose. And then raising up your left leg, turning the toes out, dropping the left heel towards the right buttock, keep lifting the knee. And then bring the left knee to the left wrist and slide the right leg back. Again, use padding under your left buttock if you did on the other side. Come onto your fingertips, lift the heart, press down into the front of your right foot, and then start to walk your hands forward, elbows, forearms, or reaching the arms all the way forward and folding in. Stay with your breath. And notice how the exhalation can lengthen. Good, and then walk the hands gently in towards you. Move anything from under your left buttock, drop down onto it, and then swing your right leg forward. Bring the sole of the left foot in, turn so that you're facing out over the right leg. Sweep the arms up, reach your heart forward. And you can either take your belt around the ball of the foot or take your hands around the foot or hands on the shin and then fold in. Good. Inhaling, coming up. Lift up your left knee, take the left foot over the right thigh, press that into the sole of that left foot and then wrap your right arm around your left knee and take your left hand behind you. Inhale as you lengthen upwards, exhale as you turn. Good, and then come back through to centre. Let's bring the soles of the feet together and bring the hands behind, lean into your hands, press the heels in, press the outer edges of the feet in and lengthen the inner thighs. So you can either stay here, leaning into your hands, or 
You can come up and take the hands around the feet and lengthen upwards. Or you can reach the feet a little bit further forward and then take the hands around the feet and fold in, just draping the arms over the legs, taking a forward fold. Good, inhaling, coming up. Lift up your legs, bring the soles of the feet onto the ground and then slide your legs away. So from here, you might want to sit onto a cushion. If you've got any lower back issues or it's just not comfortable for you to sit upright like this, sit onto a cushion and kind of draw the inner thighs inwards and down and then reach the arms up. You might need your strap again. We're just gonna come into a forward fold, Paschimottanasana. So you can take your hands either around your feet or use that strap like you did before. If you did, inhale to lengthen, exhale, fold in. So you don't want to just be pulling your chin towards the chest like that. You wanna keep the spine really long and it's like the heart moves forward towards the feet. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, fold in. Good, inhaling, coming up. And then bring your feet flat down onto the ground and take the hands behind you, fingers facing in, heels of the hands are gonna be under the shoulders, feet about hip width apart, press down into your feet, lift up into tabletop, engaging your glutes to lift the pelvis, drawing the knees away from the body, squeezing the shoulder blades in towards each other, and then sink your bum towards your heels. Squeeze the shoulder blades in, squeeze the elbows in. And then come back to sitting. So let's come back into Sukhasana and bring the hands on the knees and just take a few more Sufi circles here. Checking out how your body is feeling. And then going the other way. Coming back through to centre, circling your head gently around on its axis, one way and the other way. And then coming back through to centre and let's take Navasana. So we're going to bring the knees together, take the belt, find your balance on your sit bones and then take the belt around the balls of your feet and be holding the belt about six inches away from the feet. And now push your feet into the belt and as you do that, lift the chest drawing the navel towards the spine, squeezing the thighs in, so that you find your Navasana shape, you're looking towards your big toes. Either you can stay here using your belts, or you can let go and reach the hands towards the ankles. Stay with your breath. Good. And then slowly lower down. Have your cushion handy, because we're going to use the cushion again in a minute. So if you lie down onto your back, line up your heels with your sit bones, and then take a breath in through your nose. And as you breathe out, press down into your feet, lift up through your spine, draw the knees away from the body, draw the chest towards the chin, engaging the glutes and really pressing down into the feet. Take a few breaths here and then slowly lowering down. Good, take a moment, just lying on your back, breathing in, breathing out, and then again, press down into your feet, lifting up through the spine, clasp your hands underneath you this time, tuck the shoulders under the chest, lift and lengthen a little bit more, and then slowly lower down, release the hands and lower down. Good, take a moment here. And then get your pillow and see if you can kind of roll it up and take it underneath your sacrum. So if you press that into your feet, lift up your pelvis and bring the pillow underneath your sacrum so it's more towards your bum than your waist and then lie down onto it. And then we're gonna lift the legs up. So it should be comfortable. If you've got the pillow in the right place, it should feel comfortable to do this. If you've got a yoga block, you can always bring that under your sacrum instead if you like. 
So we're just lying here and lifting the legs up. It should feel quite easeful to just have the legs up like that. Feel the breath. Good. And then let's bend the right leg. Hug the knee into the chest, take the hands around the shin. And as you do that, point both sets of toes and start to extend the left leg away. So you're drawing the right knee in and extending the left leg away. Good, and then turn it to the other side. So you're gonna bring the left knee in and extend the right leg away, point both sets of toes. And then come back through to centre. And just drop your feet flat down onto the ground. Move your cushion to one side and lower all the way down onto the back. And then bring your knees into your chest. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Extend the left arm over to the left. Drop both knees over to the right. Softening left shoulder down to the ground, taking a nice twist here. So just really let go of that left shoulder and let the knees drop down towards the ground sense of ease. Inhale back through to centre. Take the left hand to the outside of the right knee and drop both knees over to the left, softening right shoulder down, turning to look to the right. And then inhale back through to centre and let's lift up the legs, take the arms inside the knees, catch hold of the outer edges of the feet, stack the ankles over the knees and then pull the knees towards the ground. You can rock from side to side here if you like, massaging the lower back, or you can extend one leg and then the other or both legs together. It's completely up to you. See what feels good in your body. And then from here, we're going to bring the soles of the feet together and take the knees wide apart. And if you just lift up your pelvis and shuffle your tailbone towards your heels, and then rest your hands onto your belly. Bring your awareness to your breath and bring your breath all the way down into the belly so that as you inhale, you feel the belly expanding and swelling. And as you exhale, the navel draws towards the spine. Deep belly breathing. And just continue to breathe in and out through the nose. Smooth and steady, rhythmic breath. And then from here, we're going to prepare for Shavasana. So I'd really recommend having that pillow under your thighs. Stay lying down on your mat. Let the feet fall out to the sides of the mat. Let the palms face up to the sky. Let the back of your neck be long. Come to a really comfortable supine position. Take a breath in through your nose. And as you breathe out, completely let go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. So for the next few minutes, the practice is relaxation. And I'm going to put some music on because I'm aware that there's some drilling going on outside, which is really inconvenient, but that's life, isn't it? So I'm going to put some music on. I hope that will cover up the sound of the drilling. <laughs> but anyway, just see if you can let the sounds around serve to take you into a deeper state of relaxation. Bring in your awareness to the soles of your feet, to the heels, the ankles, the calves, the shins the fronts and the backs of the knees, the fronts and the backs of the thighs. Soften your buttocks. Release the lower back, middle back, upper back. Let the shoulders roll downwards and outwards. Tops of the arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers, fingertips. Back of the neck, back of the head. Crown of the head. The forehead, the eyebrows, the space between the eyebrows. Soften the eyes under their lids. 
cheeks, ears, nose, mouth, tongue, chin, jaw, throat, chest, navel, abdomen. The whole body completely relaxed. Allow yourself to let go with every exhalation. Bring your awareness into the present moment, into the centre of now. Nothing to do, nothing to be. Just in this moment, right here, right now. Continue to relax, to continue to let go. So feeling deeply relaxed, feeling awake, feeling ready for the rest of your day. Starting to deepen your breath now, breathing all the way down into your fingertips and your toes. Stretching out your arms and legs, bringing movement into your body. And then bringing your knees in towards your chest. Rolling onto your right hand side. Pressing down into your hands and using your arms to come all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your left hand to your heart. Bring your right hand over your left hand. Take a deep breath into your heart space. Breathe out completely. And then bring both hands together in the gesture of love and gratitude and lift your heart to your hands and bow to the wisdom in your own heart. Namaste. Thank you.